All right, I'm in the Pigeon Forge today. Uh, a lot of people probably been here. It's a pretty famous place. There's literally like a million things to do here. So much stuff going on. But I'm just here for one reason, and that's to catch fish. There's one. Finally got one. Little one, but there's some bigger ones. Look at all these smallmouth over here. Goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it came out. I shouldn't have been playing with it, but. Let's see if something else hits it. Come on. Yeah, there's one. Let's get him in. All right, I've been seeing fish. I've been fishing for close to an hour, but um, they just won't, they won't attack anything. We have to do something slow and just kind of present it in front of them, jig it around, let them hit it. There we go, little guy. You really gotta coax them into biting though. They don't wanna do it. I let it sit there, let it bounce around. Pretty fish though. Oop. There's a trout right there. Oh, you. I was looking at a trout and a bass hit it. Tricked me. Get his hooked. Oh, yeah. Come on over here. Pretty fish. Man, there's so many little fish in here. Man, they're hard to catch. If I can't see my lure, I basically have no chance of catching them because they're barely picking it up. And I gotta set the hook right away. It's so fun watching these fish. They come up to it, they look at it, they look at it again. I keep, I'll keep, i twitch it in front of their face, twitch it, twitch it. Finally, they're like, all right, I gotta eat that thing. There's a couple bigger fish in here. I'm gonna try switching lures, see if I can get them to hit. But man, there's a, he's coming right at me. There's all kinds of suckers and I don't know, carp or whatever those things are. All right, it's time to get drastic. I've only been able to get fish to hit if I could see them. And a lot of the places it's hard to see the fish. So I kind of got to look for them, find the fish, cast in front of it and try to get them to hit. I'm gonna switch back to something I was working before, but I'm gonna modify it. All right, so I cut the Helgramite down about a half an inch off of it. I've had a lot of little nips at it, so now they should be able to get the whole thing in their mouth. Yep, there's one. There's a lot of little bass hitting at it, so I kind of modified my lure to catch these little ones. I've had a lot of them hit the end of it and not get the whole thing in their mouth. I'll take something, at least there's a fish. Don't come off, don't come off. From the sidewalk, that's what I'm talking about. Little guy, but. Oh, 
Yeah, before I was getting little bites from fish like this and missing them. Although some people don't want to catch these so I, was, I, I want to catch anything that bites. Yes! Oh, that's a good pass. That's the one I've been waiting on. Don't come off. Oh, where's he at? He's probably going to get off because all the bass get off. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's not a giant, but biggest thing I've caught today. I'm trying to get something good out of here. Oh, yeah. But that's actually it. That's a good bass. Oh, man. That is a nice smallmouth. Chunky little guy, probably around a pound. All right, the cut down Helgramite worked even on the bigger fish, and that's what I was hoping for. Nice bass, we'll get him back in the water. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got something. <laughs> Bluegill. Man, where's this big bass at? Well, there's the first bluegill. I've seen some stuff in here. I'm see if I can catch a few more with this thing. There he is. Something hit at it a second ago. All right. Don't let it be said I didn't catch a fish on my teeny R. Man, this is the only thing I've caught off of, like a crankbait or moving bait, and I've tried all kinds of stuff. There's definitely a lot of fish in there. These fish have been really tough to catch, though. Yeah, I caught some. Did you? Some uh, rock bass, some that's what small I'm, mouth. That's what I'm shooting for too. Yeah. There's fish. We got, well, yeah, we got something different. A horny head or some kind of chub. Yeah, he's got some little horns on him there. Oh yeah. Snatched it right off that log over there. Oh, there's our first red breast. Cool, good to see that. I like to see the different things. It's kind of why I'm sticking with this lure here till I quit fishing today, just to get a little bit of variety. Good red breast right there. Oh, where's a good fish? What is it? What is it? Oh, rock bass. This guy's a strong little fish. Nice rock bass. I got pretty, pretty chunky too. Oh, we're going. Of course, the rock bass. These guys really let you know when they're on there. They tug a couple times if they need to. There he is. There's another one with him. Come on, come on. Oh, oh yeah, not bad smallmouth right there. That's one of the very few times he hit right away as soon as it hit the water. This guy was waiting for something to eat. Pretty good. Yep, the other one hit. There he is. Back to back, that's cool. Easy there. Now there's three of them. One of them smaller. This is, I think, the biggest one. Oh, it came out. Little guy. Yeah, this little spot here, there's a bunch of hungry fish. It's been pretty rare for today. Oh, there he is. Oh, dude, a bigger one hit at this thing as soon as I was pulling this out of the water. There's a, there's a few in there on this hole. Let's see if they're hungry too.
There he is. There he is. He's in the current. Oh, he just spit a fish up. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Ouch. Oh, yeah, he's a little dirty, but he was in there feeding. That's a good looking fish right there. I like those. I'll catch those all day. Oh, yeah. There's two or three right there. Just gotta get them interested. Get them fighting over it. Cast it right in front of it. Let, let it drift to the bottom. Yeah. And let it uh, just twitch it. Oh man, there's, there's several right there. There's several of them that were following it up. Maybe able to catch one or two more. No, let's just see. Yep, there he is. Another little one. Whenever I get two or three of them there, I know they're gonna be fighting over it. It's like that makes them go for it. If there's just one bass there, he's like, eh, whatever. If there's another one, he's like, oh, I gotta get that before the other guy gets it. All right, another trophy smallmouth. <laughs> I missed it and came back for it. Oh, he just swiped at it and I saw him swipe at it and I jerked and got him in the side. Hold on. All right, well, get you loose. Just a second here. <laughs> got it right in front of his face. Set the hook. It's not bad. a good one right there. You know you want it. Man, whenever I can find a little hole like this, I can just catch them one after the other. Most of the time, if I can see them, if I can get on top of them and see, watch them like follow my lure in, let it sit on the bottom and twitch it. So the Little Pigeon River uh, runs straight through uh, Pigeon Forge here. And it is stocked with trout, so if you fish it, you have to have a trout stamp and, of course, a Tennessee fishing license. I've been told several times to fish up here, or told to try it out, and I spent several hours of fishing, and it started out really slow. Ended up catching a ton of fish, had a great time. There's a ton of smallmouth in there. Saw several bigger ones that I, I couldn't get to hit. I love doing these kind of videos, just kind of going someplace new, doing assessment, just seeing what all I can catch out of there. And uh, it's not realistic to have just a fantastic, uh, awesome day every time you fish a new place or every time you fish. So I like doing these kind of videos, kind of realistic. Maybe if somebody wants to fish there, they can kind of know where, what to expect. This place is no secret. There's lots of people that know about it. And there's tons of areas to fish at it. And there's a lot of people that already fish it. So uh, if you come up here and fish it, I'm sure it's probably going to be a little difficult. You may have to try to figure them out like I did today and try to get on some. But you, you never know if you're up here, you may end up catching a good smallmouth. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you got any suggestions, any more places that I uh, think I should fish and try out, let me know.